Everything is stripped off. Just completely stripped off my tomato plant. That is a hornworm. And sometimes you gotta go looking for them. Usually they're there. You gotta find them. See? <clears throat> when you see that, all stripped off. You look for your hornworm. And you know it's in here. You know it's in here. And sometimes they're hard to find. Here it is. Okay. Here it is. This is a relatively small one. See if I can get it to focus. Background. Okay. Why don't it focus? Anyway, this is the guy. It's got a horn on it. See? This is the guy that eats my tomatoes. Now, if you'll notice, it's full of little white cocoons. That is a wasp cocoon. Uh, I think they, the way they call it is a tritrogramma wasp. The little black wasp, and they lay their eggs on this hornworm. And by the time they grow, get big enough to fly, they will, that hornworm will look like a dried up potato chip. And it will uh, be dead. So that is what that is so you don't want to kill the hornworm so what I do is I take it out and I take it about oh about a hundred yards from my tomato plants and I let it go by the time it gets back well it'll never make it back because it will actually uh, be dried up it'll them little guys on there that wasp will actually take the suck the life out of that thing and it will be dead he's backing up he's wanting to leave now he knows he knows I'm taking pictures of him but uh, God I wish it was closer I'll probably put a, a, a photograph in here so you could see it but that thing is uh, definitely a small one they get really big Huge, and they will strip all the leaves off your plant okay so I thought I could tell people them white things are good and when you find them on there just take the take the worm and take it a long ways from your tomato plant and let it go and them wasp are beneficial I think you can actually buy them from the seed catalog so that they protect your garden from uh, your tomatoes from those, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, hornworms. Let's see if I can get a picture. I'll, I'll take a photo and put it in there and insert it. Look at him, he's trying to leave. Okay. I don't know why my camera don't focus up that close. Anyway, I'm going to go take him back in the woods, way back over there and let him go. All right. Here's a photo.